All right, in this lesson, we're going to go through kind of the introduction to managerial accounting. We're going to focus a little bit on managerial accounting rather than financial, but this lesson is a little bit of an understanding the difference between financial and managerial accounting. So we've got some of those on this board right here. Let's start with what managerial and financial accounting is all about. Now, remember, we're not talking about necessarily two sets of financial statements. We're not talking about really two different topics necessarily. I mean, all accounting can be financial or managerial. We're kind of really talking about the difference between how we report things to different people. So when we talk about the topic of managerial accounting, we're talking about assisting managers in making, planning, and controlling decisions. So, you know, at the end of the day, if you are a manager at an organization, you want information to help you make decisions to figure out if the decisions that you were making are actually working and you're also trying to make an understanding or give an understanding of what's going on in your organization. So managerial is all about assisting managers in making, planning, and controlling decisions. Now this is different from financial accounting in that financial accounting is all about assisting external users in making investment credit and other decisions. And I always explain it like this. When it comes to financial accounting, we're talking about whether or not the external users is going to buy, hold, or sell. Now, let's talk about this from an investor standpoint. When, when we're talking about an investor standpoint, they're making a decision on whether or not they should buy more stock in the company, or they're talking about holding their current investment based on the information provided by management, or the third one is selling. So buying, holding, or selling. Now we can talk about this in the terms of, let's say, a banker who is also an external user. Maybe their decisions that they're making is whether or not to lend, to leave their current loans okay, or revoke a loan because a covenant was broken. And so kind of the same thing like an investor buy, holds, and sells, a banker is needing to know whether or not they should lend more money, not lend more money, or to pull back a loan that they've already given because a loan covenant was broken. Now governmental agencies are also making decisions with financial accounting. So the first big difference between financial managerial accounting is who benefits from the information provided by the organization. And so with managerial accounting, we're talking about internal decision makers. So that's who we're trying to identify. That's who we're trying to satisfy the, what we're doing. With financial, we're trying to satisfy external decision makers. So the information that we're provided is for external decision makers, okay? Now, with managerial, there really is no rule. So if we think about financial accounting, we have something called generally accepted accounting principles. We don't have that in managerial. Now we can use generally accepted accounting principles as a way to prepare our accounting information for managerial purposes, but at the end of the day, we're trying to get useful information to management, okay? And by doing that, we may not follow gap because that's not, a give, that's not going to give the most useful information to management. So they have a little bit looser rules than financial accounting. Now when we talk about financial accounting from a time stamp standpoint, financial accounting is all about historical information. So everything that has passed we try to put that in a nice report, and that's what we give to the users of the financial statement, in this case, external decision makers. With managerial, it's all about what's happening now, and I know that we can't really give a report on what's happening now, currently, um, but we're trying to figure out, let's say, what's happening last week so that we can make decisions this week, or what's happening this week, or what's currently happening this week, um, and what decisions can we make. It's all, we're also concerned about the future, so you're going to get a lot of forecasts and projections. We don't use forecasts and projections in financial because that exposes a liability to the organization because if they put out a forecast of this, this, and this, and other people decide to use that as fact, they can expose, the organization can expose themselves to 
uh, a lot of liability issues because everybody's thinking that that is what's happening or what's going to happen. And then kind of the last thing with financial and managerial to kind of think about is when we're looking at financial accounting or looking at the reports as a whole, it's as for it's for the organization as a whole versus per department or division or per lot service line. So when we're looking at a financial statement, when it, co when it comes to financial accounting, we're kind of understanding the organization as a whole. What happens as a whole? What's the net income as a whole? That's different from managerial, where we're gonna take those reports and we're gonna make them useful to management, which is the internal decision makers, which means we might want a report based on a segment of the business. We might want a financial report that's based on a department, or we might want a financial statement that's based on a service line, okay, or a product line. And so that's very different from financial. All we want is the whole organization as a whole. Here we want it information that's going to be useful for decision makers so that they can make, plan, and control the decisions that they're making. And so that's the difference between managerial and financial accounting.